Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Georgiman and I'm your friendly neighborhood anime and manga fan. I love all things anime and all things manga. And I'm here today to talk about Hunter x Hunter chapter 394. So, what did I think about this week's chapter? I personally am conflicted with my thoughts about this chapter because I liked a lot of stuff in this chapter, but I also really, really didn't like a lot of the stuff in this chapter. Now, before we get to it, let's have a little recap of what, what happened in last week's chapter. So last week's chapter, we left off with uh, Heinrich and Mr. Wynn uh, going to that room. And that's where Morena was supposed to be at. And they opened the door and surprise to them, uh, Morena's not there. And instead, there's this old guy. And, you know, that's how the chapter ends pretty much with this old guy. And, you know, everybody's confused, like, what the heck's happening? So following that, that up with this week's chapter, we get uh, the continuation of that plot thread, which is pretty much that Heinrich is telling the guy, like, don't make a move because there was a previous soldier that walked in and disappeared out of nowhere. So we don't know what happened. So right now, Heinrich and Mr. Wynn are in high alert because they don't know what kind of net abilities in play right now. And, you know, pretty much Mr. Uh, Heinrich is like, hey, get out of this room right now. And then the old guy's like, oh, I'm sorry. I really got to go to the bathroom first. Um, I'm an old man. You know, I don't want to cause no trouble. Uh, super sus. Like this guy's red flags all over the place. So then uh, Heinrich just pretty much tells him, like, I don't care if you pissed yourself, you're coming with us. And then the old guy's like, oh, man, I'm just a frail old man. And, you know, he's he's talking, like, you know, playing the act, like, oh, I'm just an innocent, helpless bystander. So soon after, Heinrich just throws a knife at him and stabs him in the leg. And the old guy just starts screaming, like, ah, I'm in so much pain. And the panel's hilarious. The guy's just, like, super beyond extra about it. He's like, oh, I'm dying, I'm dying. And then Heinrich's like, get up. It's like, what are you talking about? It's like, that's not even your real body. And so right now you're like, whoa, what do you mean? Because Heinrich, uh, Heinrich figured this out because the second he stabbed him in the leg with his knife, um, there was no blood coming out. So obviously it's not his real body. Once he gets stabbed, the guy, the old guy gets teleported somewhere else. And, you know, Heinrich and everybody's like, whoa, what just happened? And Heinrich and he tells Mr. Wynn, like, hey, let's not get in there. Because, like, obviously it's not safe. Uh, so one soldier, like, he goes there to pick up the knife or something. And... The guy disappears as well and what you find out is that that room has been uh it's kind of like a teleportation like device uh it's an inability of some sort and what happens is pretty much somebody whoever walks into that room at least in that area uh the pretty much the middle of that room so if you walk into the room you get teleported to another room in the ship which is full of morena's guys and pretty much they just kind of like spawn kill you like yeah, the second you walk into the room, there's an, a guy with a knife and just kills you from the back. And because that's what happens to one of the soldiers. He walks in and he's like, where am I? And then this little little guy just gets stabbed in the back of his throat and just gets killed. Um, so that was a smart plan by Morena. Just having, you know, this room, whoever does figure the room out, walk in and then just gets eliminated right off the bat. Um, so after that, Heinrich and Mr. Wynn are like, hey, let's, you know, let's call it a day for t right now. Because like, let's just have the troop kill the the highly family because this is we don't want to deal with this like pretty much like we don't have to do this um because the phantom troop will just kill them and this is too much this is above our pay rate pretty much he's he's pretty much like let's have the professionals take care of it because this is a little bit too much now Heinrich on the other hand he knows that something's up so he's still in high alert and he's still you know taking the initiative so he's still using his net ability uh kind of surveillance in the area around and looking at the footage because he's you know in top alert because he knows that something's about to go down and he he wants to be on the know before it happens now that was the to me the best part of the chapter just anything revolving that initial uh scene about the the old guy in the room and the whole exchange between Heinrich, which Heinrich you know took care of that situation perfectly Heinrich has easily become one of my favorite characters in this arc so far and you know that's surprising because Heinrich just you know he he never really i never thought he was going to be one of my favorites in this arc but you know with the little amount of screen time we got of him he's really you know starting to grow on me and become a very cool character overall and i like the way he you know carries himself and all that so uh yeah Heinrich mvp of this chapter at least for me that is um so pretty much after that you get um you get you get to see a little bit of morena and pretty much what morena is doing she's just you know chilling in her room and She's telling the guys, like, oh, I guess they found our room, so I guess we gotta change that room to another room. Um, and she just, you know, it's kind of like, she's just talking to some fodder, and you get to see, like, a little bio of them. Like, that's, this is my problem with this chapter. 
there was too many cooks in the kitchen there was way too many characters that are not important to the story and i'm sorry right now they're not important to the story maybe later on they're important but i'm saying as a first time reader viewer of this chapter not reading it you know years from now when it's completed if ever um i'm just saying that this chapter like it just felt like there was too much fat like yeah the, the, it was just like an exposition dump like this entire chapter the other half is just a bunch of fodder talking to themselves and gossiping and you know just shedding exposition left and right and it's it's fine but like i don't know i it just it's so like the last three chapters were great because i thought the pacing was great everything was great the dialogue was great and like this week's chapter just felt like you know have the chapter happen you're like okay that's what's cool so that little plot three got resolved um now let's move on to these other new characters the you know they just they're just a bunch of fodder like th these guys are not gonna be i'm sorry they're not gonna be main players going on the story i can i can guarantee you guys right now if i'm wrong hey you guys can comment down below and say hey i told you so this guy you know pro wrestler guy really came in clutch uh 10 chapters from now like listen the, the all these fodder people they're they're i don't even remember any of their names like i'm sorry they're just so lame and <laughs> the big takeaway is that they're talking about serenich and if you forgot who serenich is serenich is the guy that has the the two Nen beasts, and he's been mastering. Uh, he just learned Nen, and this guy is just a freak. And you do get to learn about him a little bit just from the guy's, you know, exposition and gossiping, like the fodder, which is pretty much that anything Serenage puts his mind into, he masters. Like no matter what it is, he'll go 100% and he'll perfect it. If he'll base his life for that time until he masters that certain uh, subject that he wants to learn. So that's scary because right now he's found out about Nen. So right now he's only focusing about Nen and trying to master it. And Serenity is already a freak, man. Like this guy's um uh, he's he's already powerful as it is. Like his Nen beast and all that, like he's he's becoming a main threat. Like I wouldn't be surprised if by the end of this arc Serenity is at least a top 15 strongest hunters uh in the in the verse because this guy just seems like a gifted a prodigy and you know that's pretty much what we get to learn about him he, you also get to learn that he's very good at uh, uh weapons like he's able to uh, uh reverse engineer a gun and you know kind of like disassemble it and put it back together he's just a marksmith at gun so you know serenish might become john um he might become john wick so <laughs> or the punisher later on but, uh, but yeah that's pretty much all we got to see that uh, a little bit inside of serenish but other than that these father they're talking about like oh what's nan um you know what uh, he's learning this nan thing i don't even know what nan is so that goes to show how like below fodder these people are these just are just higher gunmen like like listen man these these guys are i wouldn't be surprised if they just get taken care of in a couple of chapters like this is my thing with tokashi and um the way that he writes his story sometimes sometimes he spends a good chapter or a couple chapters with a bunch of characters we don't care about and they're just there for exposition and like to me the most insulting part is like you like i got no problem with exposition but i just think you can go about it better because it just feels a little bit lazy and i get it you know togashi's you know he's old and he's trying to you know just get the story you know finish it and you know power through but like when you get panels where it's like literally 80 percent of the, the page is just text everywhere it's like what are you doing man like you don't have to you know write everything it's it's that saying of uh show don't tell and you know for me, the worst part is it's these fodder people that are like all of a sudden, you know, enlightening us with all this knowledge. Like, I know a lot of criticism goes towards the Chimera in arc because of the narrator. But listen, I'd rather take the narrator over this because at least with the narrator, I'm like, okay, he's the narrator. He should know this. Like, these nobodies, bro. Like, they're just fodder. Like, that's my biggest issue. Like, why are we spending so much time with this fodder? And I get it. They're just, you know, they're there to like, you know, get us to learn a little bit of Serenish. But it's like show us this don't tell us if you're gonna show us about Serenish's like backstory about how he's good at this show us don't tell us from somebody told me so like you know from a from a rumor or gossip or whatever it's i don't know i just i had a very sour taste in my mouth because the last few chapters have been great and it's been togashi you know picking up the the pace and you know showing us like yeah this is hunter hunter at, at its prime and with this it's like oh this reminds me of those moments like when i was just bored and like like, is this going to even be important going forward? Like, I'm sorry, are any of these characters going to be important? It just kind of feels like, I don't know, like in Green Island, when they would introduce uh, those characters that, you know, they're just there for exposition and then they, they could take they get taken care of in a couple of chapters by Genthru and the bomber. Like, it's, I don't know, this, I was not a fan of this. And I know there's a lot of memes, you know, about uh, Hunter Hunter and how it can be called text X text sometimes because there's so much text everywhere. 
and it's been very prevalent especially in the in the succession war arc. um but still man like i just i just had a bad taste in my mouth because i was like i was very enjoying the other chapters and listen i did enjoy this chapter like the first half i thought with everything with heinran and mr Wynn and you know that that room and everything it was, I thought that was fascinating and even the morenos though when she was talking about like yeah this is our plan and you know we're gonna take all of them down and how serena she's just you know she's like we gotta cut him loose because like he's not no longer involved with this um like all of this is just kind of like i don't know man like everything else was just lame like i like it felt like how can i describe it it felt kind of like i was powering through it like i was like, okay let's get to it which the second i got to the page with all this text i was like oh no i was getting pt as a flashback so i was like oh no we're going back to that so gosh what are we doing man like come on man like i, I don't know this chapter if i was being like if i'm being truly honest like about my rating in this chapter i would say that this chapter is probably a at best at the very best probably a six out of ten like being generous a six out of ten um other than that i will give it like a probably a five out of ten like and literally that five gets carried by Heinrich and mr wind and all that because that was fun that was a lot of fun it's just once you get to the expositions like that it's just boring and i get it it's set up for the future and all that but like you could just do it in a better way man you don't have to you know show us uh, a bunch of fodder characters and make them go into a mission like and they're like yeah we're gonna um we're gonna go join the char and the and the cu family so we can take down the high leagues and morena's a threat so we cannot get catch guys like let's go like i don't care about these power rangers looking dudes like <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't care about none of these goobers, bro. They're they're gonna get taken down. They're they're fodder. It's like watching the Avengers movie, and then out of nowhere, all these like shield fodder. They're like, yeah, we're gonna take down Thanos. This is our plan. Like, what are you doing, bro? Like, like no, you're not taking down Thanos, bro. You're nobody's. Like, just you're fodder, bro. I don't need. I can't even remember you guys' names. Like, you're you're there just for you know a, a hired gun. Like. Like, I don't know, man, this, this chapter robbed me the wrong way, but hey, for maybe for you guys, you guys thought this chapter was great. Um, what I'm hoping is that next week we, we don't, we don't have to deal with this. And maybe next week, you know, Togashi picks up the pace or realizes like, yeah, maybe this was not so great, but I highly doubt it. I think in my honest opinion, I think we're going to get at least a couple of chapters, oh, probably two more chapters like this of just exposition filled now. If it's one more of these chapters where it's just exposition field and then from there on we pick up the pace and it's just 100% you know left and right like just fire left and right like I'll be fine with that but if it's like this for like four chapters I'm sorry man like I don't know I don't know how to feel about that but anyhow that was my thoughts on the chapter um I don't know like I said I'm very conflicted I liked the first half of the chapter thought it was great the other you know half with the uh, Serenich's fodder and Morena's goons like i just thought that was lame i didn't care for it but hey that's just me um uh, maybe you guys love this chapter maybe you guys thought it was like very great and awesome but overall i thought this chapter was very disappointing like i can't say i can't stress this enough like i thought this chapter was to me to be honest it was a letdown like especially because the, the last three chapters have just been fire but hey that's just my thoughts on the chapter if you guys felt differently if you guys thought that the chapter was amazing or loved it uh let me know down in the comment section below and let me know why you guys loved it so much but with that being said thank you guys so much for watching and sticking all the way to the end of the video and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel for more anime and manga content in the near future and when you're at it comment down below did you guys like this chapter did you guys hate it let me know but with that being said i hope you guys have a great rest of your day bye bye